हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू आर यूट्यूब चैनल प्रियांशु प्लेसमेंट सॉल्यूशन एंड फ्रेंड्स इन टुडेज वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट कैप जेम नाई सेवन पॉइंट फाइव सीनियर एनालिटिक कोडिंग क्वेश्चन गाइज ओके एंड वी विल डिस्कस द क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम लास्ट स्लॉट गाइज ओके सो लेट्स स्टार्ट गाइज विदाउट वेस्टिंग टाइम इफ यू हैव नॉट सब्सक्राइब अवर यूट्यूब चैनल आई रिक्वेस्ट एवरी टू प्लीज सब्सक्राइब अवर यूट्यूब चैनल एंड डोंट फॉर टू क्लिक बेलाइकन बटन गाइज ओके बिकॉज वी आर डेली अपलोडिंग the placement material and hiring updates and guys if you have not watched this videos guys go and check out this all the capgemini related videos okay so let's start what type of question see basically guys in a <coughs> capgemini 7.5 lpa coding questions is very easy okay coding questions are not a tough right as we have already discussed in many videos i have discussed the questions but many of you are told ki is it the original question or is it the correct or ये क्वेश्चन नहीं आया सो गाइज नॉट लाइक दैट ओके ऑल द क्वेश्चन आर रियल रियल ओके सो लेट्स स्टार्ट गाइज सो वन बाय वन वी विल डिस्कस सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल द क्वेश्चन इज दिस वन ओनली गाइज सो लेट्स सी यू आर अ गिवन इंटीजर एंड योर टास्क इज टू प्रिंट द मिनिमम नंबर ऑफ ऑपरेशन रिक्वायर्ड टू रिड्यूस एन टू वन मीन्स गाइज सपोज यू हैव एन नंबर एंड यू नीड टू रिड्यूस दिस एन नंबर टू वन क्लियर we have a two options guys we have a two choice we can perform two operations the first operation we can perform divide n by x this x is a guys any number they have not mentioned ki like x is 1 2 no the x is a any number guys where x is less than n clear and one more condition n percent with x is always equal to 0 these two condition guys we need to follow in our solution okay in our code in our solution we need to follow this one condition and another condition is guys we can subtract we can subtract n by 1 theek hai we can subtract n by 1 n minus 1 we can perform n equal to n minus 1 so these we have a two restriction we have a these two steps and this condition we need to follow for dividing n by x clear so this is the question guys <coughs> let us discuss test case i hope the question is clear to everyone let us discuss the test case guys basically test case is if we have a input is 4 then output is 2 how to let's see if we divide 4 divided by 2 hai na in assume x equal to 2 for first test case 4 divided by 2 right because it it is follow both the conditions like x x we have taken 2 is less than 4 and n is nothing but we have taken the uh, 4 and percent with 2 is always equal to 0 so this is following both the conditions so first condition we first step we will do 4 divided by 2 so we will got n equal to guys n equal to we will got 2 right and we will reduce 2 by 1 <clears throat> so 2 minus 1 is nothing but 1 so we got 1 in two steps guys clear similarly for second one second one we have 3 right so for doing this 3 we have a two options first option is guys um keep in mind guys they have asked minimum numbers of operations minimum number guys keep in mind this thing it is it, it will very uh, important for task third test case theek hai so for three we have a two steps right so we have a uh, two steps the first step is we can reduce three in two ways the first way is guys first of all i reduce minus 1 we will got 2 and i will divide by 2 so we will got a uh, one so in two step we can do this three and one more way first of all we will divide uh, we will not divide first of all we only need to reduce like 3 minus 1 we will got 2 and 2 minus 1 we will got 1 okay so in these two way we can also uh, first reduce then divide or we can also reduce and reduce we have a two options let us discuss the third one third one is very interesting guys okay third one third test case is very very interesting why very interesting guys let's see for third one we have a 51 now guys we need to take up an x right so i am taking <coughs> first step what i am doing first of all i am just reducing n equal to n minus 1 in the first step i am doing this one so what i will get i will get n equal to 50 how 50 because 50 minus 1 51 minus 1 it is nothing but a 50 clear so i will got i have got n equal to 50 now in the next step i will divide in the next in the second step i will divide 50 by 25 clear so what i will got i will got the 2 guys right in the third step in the third step i will reduce this 
in by one so i have got finally one so in these way these three step it will follow and we got the output is three guys clear so in this way we can do for example if we have a 50 then how many step we need recovered we will divide 50 by 25 for in the first step we will got uh, 2 and we will reduce 2 minus 1 means only 2 steps is required to reduce 50 to 1 guys because guys in the question they have mentioned that we need to reduce with minimum step in minimum step keep in mind as i told ki you need to keep in mind the point that is minimum numbers minimum numbers of operation minimum step right so and we can take x any number <coughs> right so this is the question guys i hope many of you have got the logic what logic we will implement in this guys why because it's a very easy question right we can do with this question without using any loop we can do using only for loop uh, if else on or if else only why because in this question only the game of the logic right right guys so let's discuss the logic first then we will move to the code so let's discuss the logic guys before discussing logic please subscribe our youtube channel for such kind of videos okay so let's see so basically guys we have uh, uh these numbers okay hmm. for example guys we have a n equal to 51 now guys <clears throat> we have a n equal to 51 and we have a n equal to 50 okay now if we have a odd number guys if we have a odd number what we are doing what i am doing ki i am just reducing first number okay in the first step i am reducing n equal to n minus 1 right so we got n equal to 50 and in the next step what i am doing i am doing n equal to n divided by half of the half of the number that is nothing but a 25 how will go 25 we will got 25 by n divided by 2 right n divided by 2 we will got 25 right so x we are just taking either 25 guys because if we compare this with in this equation so suppose x we have taken 25 and n we have a 50 right now because we have reduced by 1 right so now let's put the condition here 25 is less than 50 condition is true and n is percent with <coughs> x we got 0 yes obviously x is nothing but a 25 so both the conditions is follow because in the question they have mentioned the minimum step that's why i am doing this logic or we have another way also for reducing this but in the in the question they have mentioned one thing that is minimum steps minimum operations required right so this is the step okay in the third step what i am doing we have a here from here we got the 50 from here we got the 2 and after i will do n equal to n minus 1 for odd number okay and for even number guys similarly for even number what we will do we will follow these two steps right what we will do first of all uh, we will divide n equal to n divide by half of the number that is 25 and in the next step what we will do we will do n equal to n minus 1 in a second step so as you can see guys i hope you got what i am i want to say right i want to say if we have a even number we follow two steps and if we have a odd number we follow three steps let's check for another examples as well okay because many of you have said kya bhai ye to chal jayega it's a common let's try for another one just assume that we have a <clears throat> uh, number that is uh, 1024 right we have a n equal to 1024 now i want to reduce this to 1 right so what i will do i will do i will just take x equal to 512 so that if i divide n equal to n divided by x i will got <coughs> i will got 2 right then n equal to n minus 1 <coughs> if we got 1 so for even number let me write for even number for even it's only follow two steps you can do for <coughs> any number for example we have a n equal to 4 but this is only for n is greater than or equal to 4 okay if we have a 2 there right if we have a 2 and 3 this logic will not follow so we will put another condition for 2 and 3 okay so let's see for example if we have a 1025 suppose we have a 1025 in that case 1025 
for that case ke, test case for first of all i will do n minus 1 then i will do n divide by n divide by 2 right then after that i n divide by minus 1 so in these way you can as you can see we got three steps right yes or no guys let me know in comment key you got the logic or not guys question is very easy in capgemini senior analytical role if you know the basic of the programming language if you know how to make small small codes then you are able to crack 7.5 lpa very easily in capgemini only guys it's a great <coughs> great or great opportunity for everyone means majhe aage matlab hiring dekhke and it's a on campus so more chances you have to take 7.5 lpa as a fresher right so go and check out guys and ask if you have not got this hiring you can ask with your uh, you can contact your tpo they will give you the information when cap gemini come comes to your uh, campus okay so this is the question guys i hope you all got logic let's discuss the code for how we can write the code first of all we will take a uh, input n right then after that what we will do we will check if if n equal to equal to agar one hai, then we will put a zero we will print a zero we will check in another condition if n equal to equal to <coughs> we have a two we will put what guys if we have a n equal to two then the step is only one guys again we will check if n equal to equal to three and you can make with loop as well but you can make things easy okay for is uh, n equal to equal to three we have already discussed for n equal to three what's the answer guys two right because we have already discussed how we got two but if <coughs> these conditions are not follow right this is not follow then we will put up an else condition l if we can say or else right means we not have we have a uh, n is greater than or equal to four okay so for this one guys after that i will put one more conditions right in the else part we will put if again if n person with two equal to equal to one means odd is there then we will print 3 as we will print 2 <coughs> clear in this way guys you can do a coding it will pass all the test case don't worry and it's a very easiest way you only need to understand what question want to say because in the question they have written minimum steps minimum operations required let us check for this code is working for an, uh, some test case or not so assume that and uh, this is the last case that we have discussed in this video assume that guys i am just removing this extra things so that you got clearly like okay let's check our logic is correct or not okay so assume that we have a n equal to 90 uh, 94 okay we have a n equal to 94 so it will false and it will check this condition false 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 it will move to this else part and it will move to this if part and in this if part n percent with 4 right here we have written else 2 right else 2 is printed now let's see now let's see guys for this one n equal to 94 it will come to the else part and it will print it 2 how to let's see 94 divide by will divide by uh, 47 i think right 47 we got x equal to 47 right 47 divided by 96 94 sorry 94 we will got in the first step i will divide 40 94 divided by 47 i will i have got 2 and in the next step i just reduce n equal to n minus 1 means 1 clear guys so in these two steps that's why i have directly put the 2 clear so this is the question guys according to my logic if you have any another logic if you have any another code for this same question because in the question they have asked minimum operations okay minimum operations if I, I i have let us check for another test case as well one more test case let's see if we have a n equal to uh, 93 <coughs> or 93 bar fit cell 90 bar le liye kuch aur le lete hain theek hai so let's take if we have a uh, 87 okay 87 or 89 le lete hain it will easy Okay, 89 for 89 first of all in the first step we will reduce the thing right n equal to n minus 1 that we have a 88 in the second step what we will do n equal to n divided by 2 divide n divided by divide by 2 okay 
means we we, we have a 44 right in the third step what we will do n equal to n minus 1 so we got in these way we will got in three step we'll got one so the correct answer is guys 3 for 88 as well clear because in the question they have not mentioned any particular number they have mentioned x so we can take x any number with this that is follow this condition okay clear so i hope guys you got the question and let me know anyone have any doubt query the question is very easy only the thing is you need to put some efforts you need to analyze the question you can make the code in very easy way guys clear so anyone have any doubt related to this question let me know and i have one more logic for this code but i not want to include uh, implement that one right now it's a very easy logic that i have discussed in this video right i have already made the id but <clears throat> i have already discussed the code so you can implement that code in any of the programming language you can take an input and put if else if else Okay, that is that was not a hard code. Don't comment me, ki, sir. That is a hard code. No, bro. No, sister. That was not a hard code. It's a logical code. Okay, we have first we have make the logic, then only we have do the if else condition according to inputs. Alright. So it's all about today's video, guys. I will meet you within uh, within next video. Thank you for watching this video. <clears throat> if you have not subscribed our YouTube channel, I request every viewer to please subscribe because very soon we will start the programming series on our same youtube channel in which we will cover all the topics of the programming means i will teach you the programming from p to end okay p to g i need to say okay so please subscribe and try to share and uh, approximately or uh, try to do this 30k in this month only year uh, and uh, i want to i want to say at this yeah okay, please subscribe so that in this month only we complete our 30k subscribers okay it's totally on you guys and how you all are supporting us how you all supporting me right how many of you are watching our content daily basis so that guys then, then only i can see ke, haan, you are giving a good response on our videos then i will start the series of programming that is from zero to hero guys okay and I am also thinking to start one JavaScript course on our same YouTube channel in which I will teach you all the operations of JavaScript. Like we are not teaching JavaScript as a programming language, but I will teach you JavaScript as a development language. Let me know about this idea. Anna. So thank you for watching this video, friends. We will meet on next video. Take care. Bye bye. And we will meet in next. Okay. So if you have any doubt query you can comment me or if you want you can join us on whatsapp group telegram group i will share all the links in a description guys okay so take care bye bye we will meet next see you bye